Welcome to Time Winders. For today's episode, we will be reviewing the Tudor Black Bay Chrono with the Panda Dial. But before we continue, I would like to introduce the sponsor of today's video, Toyspace. Toyspace is Singapore's largest car model hobby store. Check out their 164th scale models from brands like Mini GT, Hobby Japan, Inno 64, Tarmac Works, Ignition Model, and Hot Wheels. Toyspace offers worldwide delivery services through the their website at toyspace.com.sg. You can also check out their Instagram, Facebook, and Telegram channel which I will be leaving the links in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. The Tudor Black Bay Chrono belongs to the Black Bay Collection, which is known for its vintage-inspired designs and robust construction. The Black Bay Chrono features a chronograph function that allows the measurement of elapsed time, also commonly used in motorsports, along with the iconic Black Bay aesthetic characterized by its domed sapphire crystal, oversized crown, and snowflake hands. The Black Bay Chrono has a 41mm stainless steel case with a black aluminum bezel insert and screw-down pushers similar to the Rolex Daytona. The pushers feels incredibly premium and the clicks are crisp as well. The white dial is complemented by contrasting all-black subdials for the chronograph functions and luminous hour markers and hands for improved visibility in low-light conditions. The Black Bay Chrono is powered by the Caliber MT5813 COSC certified automatic movement, offering reliability and precision. With a case thickness of 14.4mm, I would say it does feel a bit bulkier on the wrist, which is normal for a chronograph. The owner of this Black Bay Chrono has opted to replace the original black leather bracelet for a full rubber strap with a foldable clasp which in my opinion is a good choice of strap given the humidity here in Singapore. Would you have retained the leather bracelet? Or would you have opted to swap for a rubber strap or the stainless steel bracelet? Let me know in the comments section below. Tudor has always been producing high quality timepieces and the Black Bay Chrono is no exception. The expectations of a Tudor still remains high with this Black Bay chronograph and if you're hesitating on one of these, I think it is a good timepiece to acquire in your collection. Overall, I do think that the Black Bay chrono is a very attractive chronograph by Tudor. The screw-down pushers does gives off Daytona vibes to it but I do think the oversized crown sits a little bit too close to the case given how much extended the screw-down pushers are. The MT5813 providing 70 hours power reserve is an incredible factor to consider as well although I am very much used to the 120 hours power reserve on my IWC Mark 20 but it's not a chronograph after all. After handling the Black Bay Chrono for a couple of days, I do not have any complaints about it and it is a great everyday timepiece. It's a pity that I do not appreciate the snowflake hour hand or otherwise I could see myself getting one in the future. Let us take a look at the new Pink Black Bay Chrono. Three years after the initial release, Tudor has released a new pink colorway for the Black Bay Chronograph. While I do agree that the pink dial isn't for everyone, I must say that it looks pretty unique. There isn't really much to say about this release except for the introduction of the pink dial. Let me know of your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching today's episode. Please do like and subscribe to see our upcoming content. See you in the next video.